today I will show you how to improve your touch and control in only two weeks. Things you will need for these exercises are a size 3 ball, size 5 ball, and a lot of patience. First thing you want to do is just start off with the size 3 ball and just juggle it. Just get into it and just feel the ball and take your time and just do whatever you have to do with it. Just start juggling, do some around the worlds, get, get up with your left, with your right, just get out there and get them touches in. Because what what is most important about this is you must get your touches in after your team practice. So what's going to determine what you are as a player is what you do after your team practice. Yeah, are you putting in the extra work? Are you going to the gym? Are you eating right? All those little things are going to help you improve. But for this video, what you want to improve the most is your, your touch and your control. And juggling the ball, as simple as that sounds, helps you a lot. After free juggling with the size 3 ball, what you want to do is just do juggling be below the knees. Right, left, right, left. You want to do this for about 2 minutes or 100 touches. With the same size 3 ball, what you want to do is keep juggling, but this time above the head. If you notice in the video, what I'm doing is keeping it above the head, but being patient with my touch. I'm not trying to involve my knees, my chest, or my head. All you want to involve is your foot. This is going to make it so much difficult to keep the ball above your head. Trust me when I say this. This looks simple, but it's actually harder than you think. I've been doing this for about a year and a couple months now. All these, all these little drills that I'm showing you, and it's improved my touch so much. I've had the privilege to be in Europe for three months, and I, I was in the Netherlands, and I, I was thankful enough to be living with a professional soccer player. I was out there with a, a player named Rubio Rubin, Adam Sirota, Bart Ramslar, and many more. And what I, what I noticed about these guys is the, t the time and, and dedication they put into this craft after their team practice and these drills are the kind of drills they use out there to improve and it's gonna be so difficult at first for you guys to to do all these touches but if you keep patience with it you will improve and right after that you want to go into low touches with the right foot under the knee and this is well I'm making it look simple because I've been doing this for a while but this is so hard and it's stressed on your foot it's very difficult because after a while you're your left knee thigh area gets pretty tired <clears throat> so you're gonna see me mess up a couple times but that's because I've already been working out for a bit and it gets to you so if you need to stretch out do what you gotta do and then get back into it so <clears throat> sorry about the coughing I'm a little sick but be patient with this you know it's it's gonna take a while you might start doing three the ball drops but get it up and do it again do another three it falls do it again until with a day or two you will see big improvement and I'm very certain that in two weeks you guys will see a huge improvement I put a guarantee on that I've seen myself go from not being able to juggle with all right foot to being able to do it in only three days you know if you put in 200 touches with that below the knee right foot for let's say two minutes or 200 touches even in a matter of 50 touches, you will see a big improvement. But why? It's because in a team practice, you don't get these touches. But the next one you want to do is go with the left now. Two minutes or 200 touches. I don't do all the 200 touches because right now I'm just demonstrating. And like I said, I had already trained before this recording session. But you just want to keep at it. Even if you're tired, just push through it. In a team practice, you only get an average of 100 touches in the whole practice because there's 22 guys out there trying to get the ball. If you do this, this whole thing is for about 45 minutes or less, but you get so many more touches. The next drill you're going to work on is with the same size 3 ball, and it's going to be only right foot. And what you want to do is you want to keep it above the head, only right foot. This is a great ball drill for your touch, your first touch, and your control. Let's say a teammate hits you with the long ball. What are you going to do? You're going to take a good touch. 
and this is what it helps you to it helps you to keep the ball in the air or as well as killing the ball if you just juggle this and you do this and you keep at it and you keep at it you will see big improvements like I've been saying I just can't stress enough on how important these drills are I'm 22 years old I've been through high school through college through semi-pro and now I'm trying to just take it to the pro level and I wish I would have had someone tell me about these drills so just just give it a chance and please let me know in the comments below if you tried it and how you felt and I'm, I'm sorry if if uh, if I sound a little off and and a little shaky but this is really my first video and uh, yeah I'm, I'm excited to show you guys more drills that I've learned from the professionals in Europe as in working out their their food routine their work their training routines and all the little things that they did that could help your game out if you are enjoying the video make sure to give me a, a like a comment or subscribe if you enjoyed it I have many more ideas and I would like you guys to follow along this journey where I'm going from a semi-professional player to a professional player. Thank you. The next drill you want to do is the same, but now on the opposite foot. Just the left foot. Now, I have a challenge for you guys. I want to see if you guys know, if you guys know what foot I am. Am I left-footed or right-footed? Let's see how good you guys are at guessing because I feel like I'm very balanced with my footing. I'm very good at both of them, but that's because of the time I've been putting in into these drills for about a year. About a year ago, I took the decision that I was going to give up my work life or my school life to go for this dream. And it's been tough, but I've learned so many things throughout this whole year, and I've seen a huge improvement. But it, what it comes down to is, are you guys willing to put in the work? Are you guys willing to work harder than me? I'm going to give my whole life for this. What are you going to give? So just put in the work, guys, and have fun with it. Put some music out there. Put some headphones on and just, just enjoy the ball. The most important thing I've learned is <clears throat> you have to enjoy what you do. You have to have fun with it. Whenever I go to the field, it's, it's a stress reliever. It's like forget about all the problems in life and yeah it's just it's amazing what soccer can do for you so just go out there and have fun and day by day you will see improvements it's it's not something that's gonna happen day overnight but if you do this stuff and you translate it to your game in a week you're gonna see a little difference and then in two weeks you'll see a, a, a bigger difference and then in a month you'll see yourself going from a a good player to an even better player but you just got to keep at it you know I've made mistakes in this video but I'm gonna leave it there so you guys can see that I'm not perfect you know you got to keep at it keep at it no matter what you got to grind when no one's watching so when they are watching you are that final product okay so keep at it guys and yeah have fun so after the left foot high juggling what you want to do is just free juggle with the size 3 ball just do whatever dumb stuff you want to think of just around the world chest knees now you can incorporate all that stuff and now we switch on to the big ball the size 5 ball <clears throat> what you want to do is just free juggle with the size 5 ball right left right left no knees no chest no head after this what you want to do is all right foot only the foot keep it below the knee we're doing these for 200 touches or two minutes all right then you want to switch to the left foot 200 touches two minutes whatever feels right then you want to get into just all right foot above the head 200 touches or two minutes and after that all left foot 200 touches or two minutes you drop it you keep going you keep going you keep going after that you want to do is both feet above the head just keep at it keep at it and if you're still watching this video thank you so much please subscribe like comment <laughs> or share if you have been this far let me know your thoughts on what I'm giving you advice on but the next thing you guys want to do is this is a tougher one 
Just juggle, kick it up high, and then control the ball. Kill it. Dead ball. Kill it. Boom. Good touch. But I'm kicking it very high. What you guys want to do is maybe just get it above the head and then kill it. Work your way up. If you guys seen that video of Ronaldinho where he kicks it very high and then kills the ball, this is how he improved it. It's all that time you put in alone. Thanks for watching, guys. I've... I've enjoyed making this video and it's my first video so I'm sorry if it's not to the quality of big YouTubers but I'll slowly get there and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.